In this video, I'm going to talk about the I601A waiver. Visit us as well and be channel with your questions to see how best we can help you our tutor process. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let's get started. For those of you who are new to the whole I601A waiver, this is the waiver that needs to be filed for those who have overstayed their visa or they entered without inspection and consequently they are not able to adjust their status in the United States and they have to go back to their home country to be interviewed at an embassy abroad or U.S. consulate abroad. In this case, with the I-601A waiver, provisional waiver for unlawful persons, what it does is that it prevents the person from being bad to return into the United States based on the issue that they have overstayed or they have unlawful presence. So the way it works is this. If you have overstayed in the U.S. for over a certain period of time, you might be barred for either three years or 10 years from returning and you file this waiver before you leave the United States because the waiver attaches to you at the time that you know you left off in that airplane. And then the clock starts ticking as it relates to how soon you can return. Now, with this waiver, it allows you to leave and not be bad from coming back for the reason of the unlawful presence. It's kind of get rid of that unlawful presence, so to speak, so that you are now free to be interviewed at the U.S. Embassy. But always keep in mind that when you go to a U.S. Embassy abroad for an interview, you gotta remember that they have a lot of discretion with respect to whether to give you or approve your visa request. And so if they find any other reason to not approve your immigrant visa, then they will tell you we are not going to approve it. And in some cases, they will tell you the reason why or they may say, well, we need more documents from you or need to do further background check because this thing came up during the interview. All of those things are possible, which is why we always recommend before you leave the U.S. for embassy interview to make sure that you are all clear. You are good to go. Do an investigation to make sure that there is no other reason why the embassy would refuse you of the visa. How long is the waiver? According to the USCIS, it's now looking at 26 months to 34 months. 26 months in your case is pending at the Nebraska Service Center. However, if it's pending in Potomac, Virginia, then you are facing a longer wait 34 months. Yes, it takes a long time and it's really awful to deal with that. But make sure you get this approved before you leave the United States if you're eligible for the waiver. Now, how is a person eligible for this waiver? Now, how is a person eligible for this waiver? Well, firstly, you file this waiver after your form I-160 has been approved and your case goes over the National Visa Center. Once your case goes over the National Visa Center, you are then required to pay your visa application fee to get the whole process started there. Once you make the payment, you will receive a receipt from the NVC. Payment receipt is now a required document to be submitted with your waiver. The entire waiver will be predicated on this one issue, that you have a relative who will suffer extreme hardship if you have to leave the United States and they have to go with you or they will suffer extreme hardship. Just to frame it in another time that the issue is that the person will suffer extreme hardship if you have to leave the United States because they need you here with them and they need to stay right here in the United States. And that relative has to be a U.S. citizen, U.S. citizen parent or spouse or U.S. citizen or green card holder parent or spouse who will suffer that extreme hardship. Once the government accepts your argument and approves your waiver, then you are good to go with contemplating the rest of the NVC steps. Then you can leave the United States for your embassy interview. When you get approved and get your immigrant visa, come right back to the United States to continue to be with your family. I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. If you know anybody that could benefit from this information, definitely make sure to share that information with them. We are all about empowering you with knowledge. So the more people that can benefit from this video, the more people will want watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs icon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe or hit on the notification bell for more immigration updates. Bye!